And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Rocket City Trash Pandas and the Birmingham Barons. Ladies and gentlemen, your first Birmingham pitch coming your way next. Barons. Just about set to go. And pitching in this game, John Park. What do we have on him? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Come back to the mound. Gathers and throws to first. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here. So not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Next oh, pitch misses inside. inside, and it's 2-1. and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's two away. That in third, the second baseman, number 38. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, number 38. Swings and misses. Now one and two. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next one just misses. And it's two and two. Slice to right. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Man at first, and here is Jeremiah Jackson. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball two. Number 38 leads off first with two down to the inning. Up the middle, Rodriguez over to pick it up, and that is that. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, Jake Kalish. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat, D.J. Burt. Next one is off the play, and it's two and one. The 
the pitch. 3-2 now. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Three and two now. That one fouled off. Three, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he deals. That to right. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base. And that's where no one could get to it. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is number four. Next pitch is outside. The 2 1. Good eye on that spot. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 3 1. Base hit right field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Now it's the right fielder, number 23. The 2 1. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. In the air, left field. Number 27 drifts towards it, drops into the glove, and there's one down. Take a look at the lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Two two now. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Two away now. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So first and second with two outs. Here's the third baseman, Laz Rivera. Kicks and deals. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a pitch. And that'll load the bases. 
No, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full. Jagger Rasconi getting ready to hit. Pitch misses inside. Two and one. At the belt and fires. Cabbage on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And the inning is over. We head to the second on the south side. No score. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Jose Rojas. And a base hit on the line. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And yeah, the batter now, Jake Gatewood. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Rojas gets his lead at first. Nobody out. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. One away. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. Now the catcher up to hit, number 28. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. It's softly on the ground to third. Rivera throws across the diamond. Play is made. Two out. Batting it. The right fielder. Trey Cabbage. And now the right fielder. Trey Cabbage. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Rodriguez. And a pitch. And delivers outside. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And a pitch. Next Back offering forward. misses down and away. Down three and one. Down the inside corner for a strike.
swings and misses and one gone. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And here's the catcher, Xavier Fernandez. That one in for a strike, two and two. Stays alive. No score here in the second. Next offering is down low. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now the first baseman, number 39. The lefty ready and a 1-1. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Number 38 under it. Two down. Well, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. DJ Burt digs in now. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. And now the lefty. Late swing fouled off. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. and two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's got it, and that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at guaranteed rate field, and here's the first baseman, Pedro Diaz. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 44. Next offering is downstairs. One down, base is empty. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting, number 27. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, number 27. Top of the third, no score. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here on the south side, as we go to the last of the third, here's the left fielder, number four.
The next offering misses, and the count's full. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Kicks and fires. He caught it behind his back. Throw to first. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Number 23. And now it's going to be number 23. That's towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Now batting center fielder, Miker Adolfo. Miker Adolfo will hit next. And now it's one and two. Stays alive. Next pitch just misses. And that's ball two. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. Back here on the south side. Now it's the second baseman, number 38. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Adolfo makes the catch. One down. The bat, number 11. Shortstop, Jeremiah Jackson. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremiah Jackson. Falling behind, two and one. Good eye right there. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Number 23 on the move as he glides back. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. He's in at second with a one out double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now, here is Jose Rojas. Next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. runner leads away at second fly a ball to right number 23 under it he's got it there's two away now that third baseman so two down now and here is jake gatewood he struck out swinging at his first at bat jackson at second with two down This to center field. Adolfo moving under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Onto the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Oh, 
And welcome back. Now the third baseman, Laz Rivera. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. The pitch. That one missing inside. The pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Number 27 has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two-two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. <laughs> The pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One out, runner at second. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jose Rodriguez. Went down on strikes his first time through. Stays alive. One out and a runner at second. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And now the catcher comes up to him. Xavier Fernandez picked up a base hit to center his first time on. Next offering is in for a strike. Man on second, two down. That misses the zone. And the count is two and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two on the way. Popped up. Number 38 should have this one. And that is that. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Top five. John Chavi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 40. And a pitch. That one hit to right. Number 23, sizing this one up. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now back, 
right fielder. Gray. Now it's going to be Trey Cabbage. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The wide to kick the pitch. And a count one and two. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. And now the first baseman, Pedro Diaz. His first at bat was a strikeout. On the ground to third. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cold nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. So up next, number 44. At the belt and fires. Back to the mound. Tosses to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman. Number 39. And he deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a payoff pitch. Popped up. Jackson. Has this one sized up? Brings it in. And there's one down. The batter, number six, second baseman, DJ. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Jake Kalish, done for the night, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Pitching change here, number 37. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now DJ Burt. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man aboard now with one away. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it. And hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time, though. So digging in, number four. Move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Runner on the goal. Lifted in the air, right field. Cabbage moving back for this one. Makes the grab, two down. The batter, number 23. Number 23, the next to hit. 
Burt. The runner at first with two gone. Chopper to second. And that one handled. Whips it to first. And that will end the inning. We're through five. And we still have no score. Back at guaranteed rate field. Top of the sixth inning at the play. Number 27. This one lifted in the air. Left field. And that's a foul ball. Popped up. Rodriguez settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting, number 38. And now, number 38. One, one now. And another ball. The 2-2 two -two now. Rolled over to third. Zips it to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jackson. Stepping in, Jeremiah Jackson. One for two. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Fought off foul. Here's a 1-2. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Stays alive. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one moves his feet. And a pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And next is the designated hitter, Jose Rojas. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Fly ball down the line. Brings it in for the third out. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. And we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Micah Adolfo. Comes a 2-2. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Cabbage racing over to make the catch. Now batting third baseman. Laz so up next, Laz Rivera.
the wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Long run, tracks it down. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of now balls the in the gaps. Hitter. They practice this, yeah, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two outs, space is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Jagger Rasconi. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Number 44 drifts towards it. He makes the grab, and that's the third out. Here on the south side, here's the third baseman, Jake Gatewood. Next pitch, not close, up high. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That's the third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Whips it across. That's the first out the top of the seventh. Now that number 28. And now, number 28. And the pitch. Just missed. And now the lefty. And it's even up. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now, here is Trey Cabbage. Hard ground ball base knob. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Pretty good change up on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And now the first baseman, Pedro Diaz. Here's a 1-1. Oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. Runner tags from third. Roll home. He beats it. And it's 1-0. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. John Park out of the game, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Felix Paulino. It's his job to keep his team in the game. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, number 44. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And the right-hander deals. That one the other way. And there's a base hit to right field. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. First and second, two down. Number 27 now at the plate. That misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Out towards right center field. Number 23. Long run into the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Bottom of the seventh. And the batter now, Jose Rodriguez. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Next pitch is downstairs. That's a really good take. 2-2 two -two now. Out to center. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. The catcher, number 34. Radio. Fernandez. Here's the catcher, Xavier Fernandez. And here it comes. Hit in the air, right field. Cabbage makes the grab. And there's two away. Now that number 39. Number 39 digs in now. The tying run at the plate. And now two and one. And that's downstairs and outside. Liner, base hit. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Oliver Ortega. Number 62, Oliver Ortega. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, D.J. Burke. Two outs and one and two. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Righty delivers. In the air, out towards right center. Number 44 settles under this one, squeezes it, and that is the inning. We go to the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, number 38. Rip towards third, and there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Pretty now tough that. for the infielders to do That's anything with that one. He pulled Jeremiah. it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Jeremiah Jackson getting ready to hit. So a foul ball makes it one and two.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Jose Rojas, the next to hit. Jose Rojas. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Righty to the plate. Tried to check his swing there. Appeal to third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Digging in, Jake Gatewood checks over to first, back safely. Number 38 off of first with two away. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. And the righty deals. In the air, right field. And a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now that's So Number two on with two away. Number 28 now at the plate. Two on, two outs. Oh, and now a wild pitch. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. First and second, two down. Next offering is foul back. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it. We know what you mean. Chopper right side. Bare hand grab to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Bottom of the eighth. Leading off, number four. Looking to get the tying run on base. And strike two. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Up with it. Fires to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now Number, 23. Number 23 digs in now. Fouls one off. Two and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And now two and two. Bounced up the middle. Jackson handles. Over to first. And he's out. Now back. Center fielder. Michael. Righty reliever out of the pen. Austin Warren. Now pitching for Rocket City. Number 61. Austin Warren. And now the center fielder, Miker Adolfo. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. 
Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Number 35 gets the call from the pen. New inning getting started. And now here is Trey Cabbage. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Number 62 appears to be getting loose. pitch popped up Burt under it makes the catch one away now batting the first baseman Pedro Diaz so digging in Pedro Diaz one run game here in the top of the ninth Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. The center field of the 24, Aaron Whitefield. Two outs, base is empty. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, number 44. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Next offering is way upstairs. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step, and that's why he makes so many great plays. The 1-1. One, one. And a good eye there. Two and one now. Good eye right there. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. and it's a full count now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. And here's a 3-2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Out number three.
We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Ryan Smith. Well, one run game, and now Laz Rivera. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Next pitch is outside. One run game, bottom nine. In the air, right side. Cabbage makes the play, and there's one away. Now back, the designated hitter, Jagger. And here is Jagger Rasconi. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. Kicks and fires. In the air, left field down the line. Number 27 gets under it, and it's caught for the out. Now that the shortstop. Okay. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Rodriguez. Just one out away, trying to close it out. And that one missing low. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. And he deals. To the right side. On to first. Ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Trash Pandas: one run, eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Barons, no runs, six hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and twenty minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.